The Cincinnati offense gained a lot of preseason praise after several players had impressive years in 2014. With the team's leading passer, rusher, and top seven receivers returning, there's high anticipation for an even better 2015 season. Junior quarterback Gunnar Keel is the leader of that offensive unit and learned a lot about himself in his first year as a starter. I think for me, just, uh, just overcoming adversity. I mean, understanding that there's going to be high points and low points in each, uh, each season. So, I mean, just uh, grasping that and, and understanding that there's going to be those bad times and just overcoming adversity and uh, just uh, knowing that there's going to be another game, another series, another pass, another run play, just, just to know that there's always going to be something more coming each game. Last year, Keel started 13 games but left six with injury. Senior backup QB Munchie Legault was ready to go in place of Keel, but this year he knew he would need to prepare himself as much as possible to have a healthy 2015 season. I had a ton of nagging injuries throughout the year that, uh, that really stumped, but I mean, uh, this summer I've done a great job getting uh, with my strength coach, uh, Coach Walker, and he's come up with a great program of strengthening my core, strengthening my back, and just getting me ready for this season to make me more durable, and to understand that, that I can't go and, and try to run over 240, 255 pound linebackers and that's just understand that I have to slide and make better decisions uh, when I run the ball and uh, when the pocket collapses just to get down or throw the ball away. He's put a little weight on, but he's got a lot thicker you know, up top. He's gotten stronger uh, and, and that's all you can do. You, you pretty much have to, have to do a lot of stretch and do a lot of things to make you more athletic. But the thing about quarterbacks is you're in a situation where you're standing in an awkward position and you're taking licks. The thing he's got to do is just understand more of, hey, I'm the guy. i got to take this lick, get back up, and, and keep on firing. And uh, I think he'll do that. I, I think he, he understands now he's the guy that's got to get the job done. He has no more seniors behind him to help him out in tough situations. Last season, Keel passed for over 3,000 yards and 31 touchdowns. In his collegiate debut against Toledo, he passed for 418 yards and six touchdowns. He not only set an American Athletic Conference record, but he hit the most passing touchdowns for a quarterback in his NCAA FBS debut. Now with a promising 2015 season ahead of him, Keel's experience is a definite plus, but he also has a seventh go-to target returning. And we got some studs on wide out. We got six, seven guys that are just amazing. They can, they can all play at the next level. So, I mean, just this summer, just getting with them each day and just going over routes and getting in the red zone and, and just uh, doing the little things to, to, to really to, to, to up our game, you'd say. So, I mean, I know as a first-year starter, they had to get to know me and, and understand how I play the game of football. So, now that we're all in that, that, that connection, and it's going to be a great year. This is my 20th year to be a head coach. I've never been around seven senior, senior wide receivers that have played a lot. That's a benefit for all of us, especially for Gunner. And those guys, you know, we have, we have big guys on the outside that can run. We have big guys and small guys with great athletic ability on the inside that can make plays. Gunner doesn't have to be perfect, and he knows that. Uh, he's got big deep threats. He's got short threats. He, got, he has guys that can catch a five-yard pass and run 80 yards. But the thing we, the quarterbacks have to do is they have to take and get the ball to them in the, in the right circumstance and situation, get us in the right play. Uh, again, Gunner will be much better this year than he was last year. Uh, you know, he exceeded my expectation, but now he's got to use those receivers and use all of them. While Keel has a veteran group of receivers to turn to, the run game will be vital as well for the Bearcats. There are three weapons on the ground in Teon Green, Jose Williams, and Mike Boone. Green rushed for a career-high 127 yards in the season opener with a touchdown, while Williams tacked on 95 yards and had a touchdown as well. The third piece of the puzzle is sophomore running back Mike Boone, who had two touchdowns against Alabama a and a guy that Coach Tuberville is especially excited to see this fall. He's a true freshman last year and played pretty good as a true freshman, but I think he's going to be a guy that we can watch this year saying, you know, we've got seven great and experienced wide receivers, but he couldn't make them forget about being with us being a wide receiver team. Uh, he can run the football, he's tough, and he's really, really worked hard this, this summer. The preseason favorites to win the East Division and the inaugural American Championship. Cincinnati has a lot of hype to live up to, but an experienced quarterback is a plus, and he's ready to be the leader the Bearcats have been looking for.
knowing that this is my team and that they're giving me the keys of the car and that I just got to go out there and, and make it happen now. So I love it, honestly. I mean, it just, it just shows that they have a lot of trust in me and uh, I don't want to let them down. So I'm going to do whatever I can to, for the program and the community and anything for Cincinnati. Cincinnati will have their first true test this weekend when they host Temple for the first American Conference game of the 2015 season. Both teams are expected to contend in the East, so it could have serious championship implications. Heels offense versus the Temple defense. It should be a good one in Nipper. We'll have coverage for you Saturday right here on the American Digital Network.